Hey guys, just finished a, a quick video about uh, me going to Wyoming and uh, all the coats I'm ready to take. I'm bringing all my clothes. There was a thread though on the on social network, and before I leave, I wanted to cover this because it, it was a it was a very good question. Okay, it's about Onan generators. All right, you know, there's basically think about this a minute. There are three parts to an Onan generator. There's the motor, there's the part of it that makes the 110 AC, and then there's all the control systems of it, okay? Now, uh, the thread was that the guy uh, picked up a motorhome, and somebody worked on the generator, and all the electricals, PC boards are hanging, they got wire uh, twist uh, caps and all kinds, horrible. You could tell that whoever messed with that was just falling full <clears throat> and made a mess of it. Problem is, after 50 plus years, the the harnesses and the electrical parts and all a lot of pieces and parts are uh, very very hard to find. And you would go into a lot of work, a lot of discovery, a lot of research. And a lot of getting parts to put all of it back together after somebody has um, taken it apart like that. So here's something that we've done. We did it at, uh, at the co-op. And I have several coaches out there like this. Now, <clears throat> as I told you before, I no longer sell fish. But I tell you how to fish. All right? This video will be accompanied by other ones that are hands-on. This is just the concept of what it means. What I'm talking about, okay? Think about this. Again, there are three parts to the generator. The Onan power door, four or six thousand. There's the motor. Fuel and fire makes that run. There's the electrical part. And we want to pray to all kinds of people. There's no problem with that. But honestly, there are three basic things that go wrong with it. And then there's the electrical part. All right. So let's say that the elect that the uh, uh, exciting part, the uh, 110 AC exciter works. Now let's say the generator works, but all the electrical is just hanging down. And um, I may be able to put a picture at the bottom of this video. But here's what you do. Think about this. If you put, and again, this is just the theory. If you put 12 volts to the coil, to the right-hand side of the coil where all the three or four wires are going, if you put 12 volts to that coil, and you energize that starter, it's going to start. If the 110 part works and the motor will run, if you put power to the coil, because when you put power to the coil, that starts the electric fuel pump, power to the ignition, ready to go. It'll shoot a spark. Of course, you can have oil and all that stuff in it. But you look at the starter. The starter is nothing fancy. You got a starter, you got a starter solenoid next to it, and then you have a helper solenoid next to that that drops it down. You can take all that stuff out. You can go get a, a, a boost solenoid that we use up front for the uh, battery boost solenoid. Get another one of those. <clears throat> Tie it to the starter. Put it to a switch, a momentary switch. Put power to the coil, bump the starter, generator will run. No, it doesn't have any low oil shut down. No, if you hit the start button again, it'll try to grind it. It could mess up the ring gear. But that's just about what that, uh, what that board does. That's about it, really. Because it puts power to the, to the uh, well... It doesn't, uh, there's an alternator inside and it switches the power over and a couple other things. But see, those things are not necessary to what? Make it run. Make it make power. Now, if, you're, if your own end does not smoke and it does not drip oil, it will run 24 hours with the oil tank. Yes, they do burn oil. Yes, they do. But it will run. You have to check yours and find out. But it should run 24 hours or one session without any oil. So what do you do? You go out for a week every morning, you go check your oil, 
You're good for the day. This is called brainless. It has no PC board in it. It has no safeties on it. What you're trying to do is to harvest the part of that generator that still runs and use it until it doesn't. Because to be honest, the back in the day, see, mechanical things were made to work on. This was made to work on. Today, mechanical things are made to work and, to, and they're very, very reliable until they fail. When they fail, you have to decide whether to pitch it and get another one or whatever. This, this generator really is a good generator. Low RPM, pretty darn quiet, and makes a pile of uh, energy. More energy than we really need. So if you use that concept, if you don't use it over 3,000 watts ever, one, air, air, uh, one roof air or anything like that, chances are that generator will run many, many, many years. Okay? You want to you know, give it good oil. You want to have 40-weight uh, oil. It needs, it needs some thick oil in it because it's an old type motor. Uh, we want to check the oil. We want to put a fuse in the circuit. Now, other videos that we're going to be doing will specifically line this out. What I'm trying to do is tell you right now is get the motor running and it'll create power, right? Doesn't need all that stuff in there. Now, uh, back in the days, people would say, oh, this is sacrilege, tearing that motor up. But here's the thing. If it runs like a top, but all the electrical is gone, guess what? The electrical is the first thing that goes. You know, you can pull an old car out of the dump somewhere and make it run. And if it'll create power, it has value. And if a generator will create power, it has value. All right, so look, there will be other videos on this. I wanted to put this out right now because the thread was was hot and the, uh, the, uh, the originator of the thread asked me, how do I do that? And I said, well, call me. And then I thought about, it. no, <clears throat> I want everybody to understand this. And I want to throw this out to everyone. I want to present this. If you have a, uh, an own end generator and the problem is electrical, that is not necessarily a problem. Okay? All right, but look, I want to throw this out fast. We're getting ready to go to Wyoming, and I uh, just did a video about the, what we're getting ready for and all that kind of stuff. So uh, I just want to throw this out real fast. Please uh, hit like, share, uh, uh, and subscribe. Ranch hands, this is going to be in the database. So when your generator takes a dump and it and the pour's bad, do not. I got to tell you, because of this, because of the age of 50 years. Now, if the generator is uh, not running because you know it's the board and you want it to be original, I understand. There's, uh, there's dinosaur electronics and there's flight systems. Look them up on the internet. Uh, 1073 board. Is the one is the one you want if you want to do it that's cool but if it's too far down the road and the wires are falling off and, and some critters eating everything we can make that sucker run right so give me a call we'll talk to you later